So we have a problem that we need to solve today. It's for our friend Angie. So Angie owns a flower shop and she wants to make bouquets for her seven friends. She has 42 roses and 21 tulips. She wants each friend to get the same amount of flowers. We have to be fair, okay? So each friend gets the same amount of flowers. How many flowers are in each bouquet? So, we need to think about what we know before we start anything. What we know is that she has 42 roses and she has 21 tulips. And we also know that she has seven friends that she's sharing these flowers with. So she wants each friend to get the same amount of flowers, but it doesn't matter how many roses and tulips are in each bouquet, that doesn't have to be the same. So she has 42 roses and 21 tulips. So we're going to give all of those away. So we need to know how much they equal together. So on your whiteboards, figure out how, how can we figure out how much 21 and 42 are together? All right, show me your whiteboards. Yes, we would add 42 roses and 21 tulips, and we would get a total of 63 flowers. So we're gonna forget about the roses and tulips. We're just gonna focus on flowers. Doesn't matter what kind. So we have 63 flowers now. So we're gonna go ahead and cross this out and cross this out. So we have seven friends. That's our other thing that we need to keep in mind. We have seven friends we're sharing with. So we need to spread these flowers around equally. Is there a way I could represent 63 other than words? Talk to your partner about a way I could represent it. Yes. Yes, I can use base 10. So over here, I'm going to represent 63. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. So there's my 63 flowers. And here are my seven friends. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, I want to divide the 63 flowers among my seven friends. So I'm going to try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Turn to your partner. Does this look equal? No, it doesn't look equal, does it? So, I'm stumped. I mean, I have these groups of 10 flowers, but I'm, I, I can't divide them equally. So what am I going to do? Yes, I can split them into ones instead. Very good idea. Let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the ones that I already did because that was wrong. So now, instead, I'm gonna change these into ones. And do this on your whiteboard with me. Perfect. So now I have 63. So now I'm going to distribute those to the, the seven friends. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Now, if I count how many flowers were distributed to each bouquet, I can figure out how many flowers would be in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there were nine flowers in each bouquet. So how could I write this in an algebraic expression? I want you to turn to your table and come up with some ideas. And one person flashed me a whiteboard to show me the expression you came up with. So this is what your expression should have looked like. 63 flowers divided by seven friends will give us the answer of nine flowers.
hours in each bouquet. Great job, everyone.